Come on, Jezebel, you brought her in a state of trauma. Where did it start? Get your eyes open and look at me, Jezebel. Where did it start? Anytime there's sexual abuse of a child, it's always a spirit of Jezebel to start with. Look at me. How many generations ago did this start, Jezebel? Huh? I asked a question. How many generations does this go back? Answer me. Is that an eight? Thirteen. Thirteen? What happened 13 generations ago? What was it? Answer me. I command you by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You tell me what happened 13 generations ago. Huh? What? Rape. Say I, Jezebel. Say it. I, Jezebel. No, say it clearly. I, Jezebel. Say, lift this curse. Lift this curse. 13 generations. Of 13 generations. Of child rape. Say, so lift this curse. This curse. On future generations. Of future generations. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Hold on to her. Hold on to her. Say, so I have no right. I have no right. To this woman of God. To this woman of God. I am judged by Christ. Judged by Christ. Say, I, Jezebel. I, Jezebel. With my kingdom of evil. With my kingdom of evil. All lust and perversion. All lust and perversion. Now receive. Now receive. The judgment of Christ. The judgment of Christ. We all. We all. Go. Go. Now. Say now. Now. Say to. To. The. Pit. Pit. Come out of her in the name of Christ. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, act like you mean it. Go. Go, come out of her. Go, Jezebel. No. Get out. You can't get me out. Go. Go. Out. Go, go, go. No, go. Go completely. Come out, come out, come out completely. Go. 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 Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus and let's welcome Shayla to the stage and she's going to share her testimony, what God has done in her life. Please share with us um, your life before and what led up to knowing that there's something's going on when behind the scenes something that you couldn't overcome physically and then things that you were facing things you were battling so when i was four years old i was molested by an uncle on my father's side and um growing up it was really hard because i was filled with shame embarrassment i was depressed i had anxiety um i would push people away and i would uh i, I didn't want people to look at me i'd cover my face and um it really messed up my relationships with my family and friends and stuff like that, and school. It affected my grades and uh, everything, pretty much, so. And what made you to realize that, look, this this is a battle that I can't overcome and I, and I need deliverance, at what point? Um, well, I've been in church my whole life and I've always thought that I could do it by myself. I can, uh, you know, not talk to anybody about it. I didn't talk to anybody about this uh, situation. I kept it to myself because of all the shame. Um, you can't really do it by yourself like you need God you need people and community and um, I realized I needed to open up to somebody about it for something to change so and what happened to you that Sunday when uh, Dr. Bob Larson came and during that prayer line what were you experiencing at that moment Ooh. <laughs> um, well first he was going up to the crowd and he was saying you know I like to tempt the spirits inside of people and he went up to the crowd and I heard this voice in my head say well he ain't gonna catch me I have a bunch of them and that's when I was like whoa I need to get delivered. And um, whenever it is deliverance Sunday, something always comes up. I have friends over, family over. Um, I have to leave early. But he said, if there's something stirring inside your stomach or you feel something weird, which is what I felt, I'm like, okay, this is it. Like, I, this is my chance. And I was always so afraid to come up because, you know, I'm part of the... Um, the, I'm a member of the church and you know it was always his thoughts of like people are gonna think weird about you like you're a leader in the church and all this stuff so what are people gonna think so I never did but for some reason like this stirring in my stomach was like you need to go up there and so I did and then uh, I was up here and he started you know 
walking towards people and I started crying and he looked at me and I'm like, oh shoot, this is going to happen right now. <laughs> and so. And it did happen. Come on. For the glory of God, put your hands together for Jesus. It's so awesome to, that, that you share these things that some people, may, you may be sitting here and then you may not be at ease with yourself. You may have these thoughts that you want to run away or, oh, I need to go or there's a phone call that's coming. Today is your day of deliverance. Today is your day of freedom and God's going to meet you at the point of your need. And thank you so much for sharing that because many people do face the same things. And um, after the prayer that you received and we see that God's done so much in your life, what are some things that you experience? And even looking at you now, you look different. You smile different. It's there's a, Your whole demeanor changed and tell us more changes that God has been doing in your life well before the deliverance I had uh, sexual dreams from when I was a kid I um, I looked at men in a weird way and I felt like this weird thing but um, now my conscience is clear like I feel free I um, I used to um, be angry at myself I thought it was my fault but it wasn't and I was able to forgive myself that day and move forward <laughs> so yeah. Wow, it's awesome. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. We thank God for your freedom, for your deliverance. What encouragement to you, that you can give today to somebody that maybe went through the same experience that you have maybe as a child. Maybe they can't forgive a person or they maybe hear and they have these thoughts that are going through their mind or they're facing certain dreams in their life. What can you uh, encourage them with? Um, there is hope and... Uh... I would just encourage you to connect with somebody and, you know, open up to them because people do want to help you. And for me, it was my life group. My life group leader is amazing. <laughs> I was able to open up to her and there was no shaming. There was no like guilt or anything. She, she encouraged me and uh, she, I, I just get delivered. Like it's going to help somebody. It's going to set you free and set them free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for sharing that testimony. Let's put our hands together for Jesus one more time. He is a great deliverer. He came to set the captives free, to heal the brokenhearted, and to bring liberty to those who are bound. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content and this was a blessing to you, would you help us and hit thumbs up so that it could help more people to discover this video. It costs you nothing, but it can go a long way to help with the algorithm. As well as if you're not subscribed to our channel, hit subscribe, click on the bell so that you can be reminded each time that we upload videos. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. If you're interested in learning more about Hungry Gen, our internship, our conferences, deliverance, and so many other things, go to HungryGen.com for more information. And as always, remember, better is not good enough, the best is yet to come.